This is a follow-up video to bring to conclusion the series of videos and information when it comes to making custom adapter, filler, or conversion plates to meet any requirements. This video is to show the completed uh, conversion adapter plate as necessary uh, for this project and we're going to show that to you now. So. And it's been a couple, three weeks since the first video, if not longer. But the client is using a uh, alarm lock DL2700. And the client has existing holes. They've got an existing hole for a deadbolt. And they have an existing hole for a lock set. Well, what the client is doing, if my memory serves me correct, is that they were installing the Trilogy lock with all of its function, pardon me, they were installing the Trilogy lock with its function holes, okay, all of its function holes. Then they were going to install a new deadbolt. Uh, the Trilogy lock is going to provide access during business hours, code combination that you can give your clients to enter the main entrance of the space, if I recall the job correctly. At the end of the day, when the owner is leaving, they're going to f mechanically lock the door so that while the codes would technically, uh, technically the codes would still operate the lock, they won't allow, they won't grant access because you're mechanically bolted with the deadbolt that's installed above. Okay, so the deadbolt's going to go up here, the trilogy lock, the alarm lock is going to go down here, and it works perfect. Now, in a perfect world, there are never mistakes. Um, However, uh, that's not necessarily uh, reality all the time. And it was discovered when this plate came in that there was an omission uh, from the published data and there was a mistake. And because these plates ran through our shop, um, we endeavored to double check it all. That doesn't always work because double checking because they don't always flow through our shop before it goes to the client. But a small order will generally be brought in on a stock order, such as a, cu a couple of custom plates. So we have the opportunity to review them and seek to do so every time that we can because we're looking for just a, a mistake. Well, sure enough, I discovered that there was an error, two errors, in fact, on these plates. Not that you would know it, but the centers of these uh, mounting holes are too large. They're, they're, they're in the wrong place. And according to the sketch provided to the manufacturer, they did not have the mounting holes that I could also argue are not necessary, but the client wanted them. And the corrected plate is here. And this plate will not only match the drawing that's uploaded here as well, but will show you um, what the finished plate's going to look like. And very easy to uh, make sure that it works. You'll notice that the center line is not in the center and that's because the client needed to shift the lock, inst the plate installation away from the projection of the stop. And as a result, we manufactured for the client one left hand and one right hand where the offset of center line is of course one left and one right. So that one can go on the exterior and the other can go on the interior. A simple proof that it works just uh, is all, all it takes is just getting the plate put down onto the lock so as to absolutely ensure to the client to the best of our ability that the installer will not encounter any unforeseen difficulties and lo and behold your function holes for the mounting posts your wiring access harness the wire from the cylindrical hub itself all works up really well. Going to give you a real nice finished edge. And yes, of course, that one hole is going to be covered. The client will uh, likely not put anything there because you're going to be bolting it so severely. But the plate up here, the plate down here is going to be secured. And that's what the installation is going to look like. A superb job um, by the manufacturer. And I am... Um, proud that my company was able to assist the client in obtaining an exact perfect um, solution and done so at a very reasonable cost. Mounting screws included, by the way. Uh, at a very reasonable cost because this is an unusual door. Um, in fact, it's inch and five-eighths thick. So that's unusual. 
replacing the door because of the damage on the lock sets that caused all this in, uh, initial uh, repair work to begin, we're, thankfully worked perfectly because you've got an inch and five eighths. It's a bit too thin for your door, making it a special custom door. But when you add the thickness of both of the plates, 50 thousandths each, you're basically adding 100 thousandths. Inch and five eighths plus 100 thousandths. I mean, you are incredibly on the door, much on the doorstep of the perfect thickness for this lock to work down on. Not only the, the, the alarm lock, but the deadbolt as well. So I'm very proud that my company was able to very inexpensively provide a total solution to the client. And really all they need to do now is just attach the items uh, down to the doors and complete the installation. And keep in mind, if there's some sort of custom configuration we can assist with, uh, the, this manufacturer has the ability to laser cut holes literally anywhere that they want, and they will program the machine. The machine will make all of the preparations, whether it's laser cutting or it's a, you know, I would know it as a CNC turret, but there would be the requirement of lots of different tool sizes to punch these holes. So they're burning it with a very fine laser. And they, programming, they program the path of the laser onto the blank piece of material that's held in the machine. And voila, maybe just a couple of minutes later, you've got a gorgeous piece of hardware that's ready to roll. Uh, stainless steel, we, they can obviously do it on anything. Um, well, I, I don't know that as fact. I don't know if they can laser a sheet of brass. Um, peel away protective film is what's on here, and that's the bottom line. If we can help you with a custom solution, please reach out to us. Um, we find that the ability to leverage our industry knowledge, our expertise, our decades of working with clients as a way that we differentiate ourselves in the market uh, compared to other people, uh, and especially those companies that do not have an established full-time footprint within the door and hardware industry. My name is Rich Howard. Thank you very much.